Hello, Alex. Wow. Hi. Oh, wow. Yeah? If you want. I like. Oh, hi, Lee. <laughs> hi, Jamali. How you doing, man? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah. I don't know if I'm pulling off the hat, but... Are you ready? I'm ready, yes. Here we go. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, look. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, right. Very nice. You excited? Yeah. Yeah. How's things? Oh, at home? Yeah. It's OK, now. Good to hear. <laughs> you? Yeah. You know. Oh! <laughs> that was nice. That was nice. That was very slick. You sort of distracted me with your peril home life. Did you ever see My Girl? It was this really sweet kids film. Yeah. You get stung by a bee and dies. Oh. Make the best uniform for this bee. Make the best uniform for this bee. When they made me put this on, I was tucking everything in. <laughs> Every, I mean everything. Thinking, this is gonna, something's going to get me. And it's that. <laughs> I've been on the Des O'Connor show, I don't even need this. You must wear your beekeeping outfit throughout the task. You have five minutes to order five items. Then 15 minutes to make the uniform. Your time starts now. Five minutes to order five items for this bee. This place. I, OK, I think I know what I want. OK. Uh, white cloth. White felt, please. Netting. A little bit of mesh. White tack. White material. Uh, something to make a tiny sword. I'm going to need more information than that. Uh, so uh, a short length of uh, something grey or silver. Again, you're going to need to be more specific. A pea, a frozen pea, a Stanley knife and some Tipex. A whip. Polo mints. Small motorbike. Some sand or something, something akin to it, yes. No, it's not all something. Right, yeah, so yes then, please. And I also have, like, a cold drink. What type of drink? It's like a cold beer. That'd be great, man. I think that's going to be enough. I'll see you later on. Bye, honey. <laughs> Lovely. Um, I, I haven't got much to say. Um, we went through quite a journey initially. Um, Mike came in first, and I genuinely thought Mike's decided to wear a beekeeper's <laughs> costume today. <laughs> <laughs> then there was some youthful exuberance from our two young people. Jamali, it's the first time I've seen you genuinely happy. But then Sarah brought us back down to earth by associating bees with the death of a child. <laughs> My girl, remember that absurd twist in the plot? And it comes out of nowhere. Well, that's life, isn't it? That, that is life. life. Mercifully, we know that uh, all five of you survived. So let's have a look at your bee <laughs> uniforms. We're going to see Jamali, Sarah and Charlotte, first of all, taking part in our sewing bee. Hey, what's up? I've been to the shops. OK. And your 15 minutes starts now. I have just have to make a beekeeper's outfit for my bee, right? Well, you have to make a uniform. You've chosen beekeepers. Oh. Did you think you had to make a beekeeping uniform? Yeah. Ah, I thought you chose to make a beekeeping uniform. No. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> I'm such a dumb prick. Gloves have got to stay on, have they? I have to keep the gloves on, right? All the information's in the task. Oh, OK. All right, here we go. OK. So you're trying to thread a mint? Yeah. What's good is that the net sort of distorts your vision quite a lot. It hasn't stuck. All right, OK. I'm just going to staple the bee. It's not a real bee. <laughs> I don't know why I thought this was going to be mad easy. Oh, sorry, sir, for dropping you. Can you thread this in for me? No. Oh. It's going quite well, wasn't it, for a bit? It was. It's these dang gloves. It's impossible to put the thread through that hole. Right. I'm just going to spend five minutes doing this, and then I'll have a luxury five minutes to do the task. Oh, look at that. OK. Six minutes left. Oh, fuck it. I'm going to change tactics. I'm just going to really fill it with glue, like that. So he dunked his whole head in a bucket of glue. Yeah. Oh, I didn't make space for the wings. That's honestly tailoring 101 when you're tailoring for a bee. You a big fan of movies? Yes. Well, this is a nice little movie one for you. 
Oh, really? Yeah. What does a lasso look like? Um... OK, he's unfurled the lasso because he's going, do you know what, I'm going to stop hitting my workers. Mm. <laughs> you know what that is? Is it from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest? You know the film where the guy gets visited by all the different ghosts? Oh, Scrooge. Yes. What was the netting for? I was going to make a beekeeper outfit, but then I, I gave up. Mm, I thought you were going to make a beekeeper's outfit. Yeah, I was. I was intending on making a tiny beekeeper's outfit with this and go over his head like that. But right now, it's the Pope. Very really great. I, I'd like to dig down into the narrative of your character. Yeah. What is he? I think uh, it was a sort <laughs> of uh, draconian commandant of a bee colony, and uh, the whip is there to keep the workers in line. Of course, I'm the bee commandant. Yeah. I've got my cowboy hat on. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what else have I got on there? Glue. Yep. And a staple. So the narrative is the bee commandant is understandably angry. Mm. He's had a staple ram through his intestines just before he put his cowboy hat on. And then there was an extra bit of the narrative where he whips his staff, mm. which caused you to be exasperated with yourself for bringing whipping into it, I yeah. think. I thought it has a bee in a hold of whip. It's got wings. Yeah. Charlotte also started trying to make a beekeeper's outfit. Yeah. Yeah. But it didn't work. Didn't work, so you abandoned it yeah. and turned it into a papal bee, as we can see here. Yep. It's good. I mean, it is good. It's good. Also, can you see there's a, a slipper for every leg? There are six little white oh, yeah. paper slippers. <laughs> because that's part of the Pope's uniform, isn't it? It is Pope slippers. Yeah. <laughs> Did snip the uh, things off the gloves like that. Was yeah, it spooked everybody strength. as well, didn't it? For, for one beat, I thought you were chopping your fingers off. Like I was so committed I thought you were so committed like, to this show. Fine. I don't need fingers. No. Yeah. All the I, tasks. I know where I can get a spare thumb anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the end result is pretty impressive. Magnificent. I just ask you the simple question. Does the Pope wear a uniform? Uh, are you kidding? Do you think he'd come out in a jeans and T-shirt? I don't think so. <laughs> no, but does he wear a uniform? Yeah, that's what Nowhere in the world has anyone ever referred to the Pope's clothing as a uniform. You've asked everybody, have you? <laughs> You've asked everyone. <laughs> You've checked. No, 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 no. Well, so what would you call it? I'm going to put my Pope garb on. Garb. garb. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I think, let's have a look at Jamali's anyway. It's a lovely, it's a lovely Pope. Harder, I think, to interpret. <laughs> that looks like a hostage situation. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us where the hoodie is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's uh, not a real ghost. He's an actor playing <laughs> the ghost of the Christmas past. Yeah. Uh, You're happy with your bee having a ghost uniform? <laughs> well, yeah, because you think about it, it's a uh, type of clothing you wear to work, right? Yeah. And so, if you're an actor, like, you know when you've acted in things, I don't know if you've acted in things, but... I if, have. If, if you, I, really? I know you're, I know I you're unaware of my secret. I should, I, should, I should check it out. And you, you, wear, you wear your uniform, is your costume is your uniform. No, and that's I'm, the I've never referred... In, in my many television acting roles, I've yeah. never referred to my clothing as a uniform, not once. <laughs> Finally, it's time to see Lee make and Mike make. Right, I'm going to take this off. Yes. You don't start the clock yet. I have started the clock. No, you can't start the clock. That's not fair. I can't stop the clock. Oh, for God's sake, Alex. I had to take the jacket off. The others don't have to do that. Arts and crafts aren't really in my wheelhouse, generally speaking. What's in your wheelhouse, mate? Afternoon naps. <laughs> Breakfast. <laughs> right. There you go. I feel like using scissors was something that I... You had to do. I better jazz up the collar a bit. Hopefully, he won't mind having a uh, a spike going through his nut. Right, you know what this is, don't you? It's your classic turn your frozen pea into a bee helmet situation. We've all been there. Here we go. Gosh, if ever I needed a pair of glasses, it was now. This is what they should do: get rid of this traditional eye test. It'd make you look forward to going to the opticians, wouldn't it? Right, progress. <laughs> Cape. Bull. Alex, could you go online and find out what the world record is for jumping double decker buses? Yep. A man jumped over 18 on the 29th of August 1983. Well, this is a British record. Who did it in Wales? <laughs> the B Matador. And that, my friend is Beevil Knievel, made from split pea, about to jump almost the world record, or the world record for a bee. <laughs> Can I go for it? Good luck, Beevil. <sighs> Don't let me down, Beevil. <laughs> OK, 
Okay. You ready? <laughs> this is the one. This is the one with the bike. Come on. Ready? Oh, that was a bad one. Forget it. Well, I'd like to deal with Mike first, if I may. Yes. Who instantly decided on the Matador idea. A lot of detail. You made the bull ring, mm. got hold of the bull, yeah. sand. Yeah. My gut instinct is that when we see the Matador's outfit in isolation, it'll be rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, I think your instincts are, pr are probably correct. This is what it ends up looking like. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, so that, I mean, that's obviously a bullfight that's gone wrong, I think. He's also dead. He's dead. <laughs> it's a dangerous profession. Right. The Matador B compared with three stunts from Lee Mack as well. Yeah. Beevil Knievel. Yeah, here is Beevil. You can see yeah. the word Beevil on his collar. What interested me is when the challenge was set, immediately you went, get me a frozen pea. Immediately. And you knew it was for the helmet for Beevil Knievel. E immediately, because I knew that I only had a small window. You have to defrost that frozen pea perfectly. Too hard, you'll never cut through it. Too soft, and it won't be able to protect a skull. <laughs> it did crash several times and the helmet stayed on. Well, it did its job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to make judgment. Right. Do you want to put them all up on the screen? Put them all we... up and let me judge. There we go, OK. I love that this looks like a family of bees and this is all of their names. <laughs> 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 the different achievements that they've done. <laughs> <laughs> too proud of bee pets. Charlotte's doing great. I think they're all quite proud of Charlotte, probably. Yeah, aren't they? right. <laughs> Which is the worst uniform, Craig? I mean, the worst, out <laughs> the worst outfit is clearly the ghost. <laughs> so one point to Jamali. Very close to getting the one point was uh, the bee commandant. Yes. yes. I'll take that. Yeah, yeah. two, two points, points out, and, and thank me for them. <laughs> um, Mike Wozniak's Matador P is very lucky to be getting three points. Right, third That's place what for he Mike. Gets. So it's between the Pope and the stuntman. They're both a visual delight to me, but because there was extra stunts, I think Beaver Knievel on this occasion just takes it. But four points to Charlotte, yeah. five points to Lee. Well, I'm happy with that. Thank you. For more Taskmaster, subscribe now. <laughs>